Welcome in. Let's keep these conference predictions going. Today, we're talking about the Big Ten Conference. A very exciting time. The Big Ten's going to welcome USC and UCLA in here in a few years, maybe even more. As you know, we're hearing multiple rumors, Oregon and other schools like that might be involved as well. But for this season, it's a very polarizing conference, and for a couple reasons. I mean, when you look at uh, the Big Ten West and the Big Ten East, you're talking about a complete disparity between a very a, a, a side that you're like, man, I'm sure on who's going to win this side of the conference. There's a couple teams. They're really good. Then on the other side, I mean, it's a just throw your hands up in the air, and who knows what's going to happen. I mean, to be honest, uh, it, it is one of the more shocking things when you look at the Big Ten West and you try to do predictions. Very, very difficult. So let's start with the contenders, okay? And you you can't mention the Big Ten without talking about Ohio State and Michigan. Those two are contenders on this list. Both are going to win double-digit games this year. Um, I think there's a chance that both go 11-1. and one this season, and it wouldn't surprise me at all. Michigan, very favorable schedule, plus they're pretty dang good. And then Ohio State, explosive offense. They're just extremely talented this year, and I think they're going to get better on defense as well. The other two contenders are the two teams who I just feel the most confident in saying can win the Big Ten West. And it's really, really hard to decide which teams you love on that side. So I got to go with the ones that historically have won it the most, It's at least in recent history, and the teams who I feel very confident have an identity and will take care of the football and will win their home games. And for that reason, I'm going with Wisconsin and Iowa. They're the other two contenders in the Big Ten this year. I'm not sure that either are real contenders, as in I'm not sure either one can beat Ohio State or Michigan in the Big Ten championship, but I think they can get there, uh, which definitely makes you get put on this list in my eyes. So who, who can kind of sit there and dethrone these teams? Who can kind of shake up the Big Ten a little bit? Well, how about a dark horse? How about Purdue? I've talked a little bit about Purdue in the past. Um, this is a team that I think is getting slept on a little bit because their offensive and defensive lines are better than they have been in a really long time. I think the Purdue staff feels really confident about those two groups hanging into this season more so than they have in the past. Uh, I think they have a very good quarterback in Aiden O'Connell. Uh, I believe in Jeff Brom as far as being able to score points. And I think as long as their defensive line is solid, they should be able to hold up against these run-heavy offenses that they're going to face in the Big Ten West. I think that their scheme is very beneficial against many of these teams as well as in they can actually score points. Um, and I think that helps them. I also think their secondary is where they need the most improvement and probably where their biggest question marks are on defense. Good news for them, these teams in the Big Ten West really aren't going to stretch them defensively like that. And for that reason, I think Purdue could be a sneaky team that finds themselves in the Big Ten championship game. I feel like they're probably going to go 8-4 and four this year, but I could see a world where they become a true dark horse and find their way to 9, maybe, maybe even 10 wins. I think the game to circle on their schedule is that Penn State game uh, week one. That's going to be a huge one on a Thursday night. Moving on to my sleeper. How about Nebraska? Also in the Big Ten West theme here, right, is that many teams can win the Big Ten West. And I, I think Nebraska upgraded at quarterback with Casey Thompson. They lost a ton of close games last year in large part because their quarterback, Adrian Martinez, just imploding at times and giving games away. Um, I think this year their defense can be really good. I think a healthy, a healthy Casey Thompson is going to be able to move this offense in a way that they haven't been able to under Scott Frost. And I just think they could have some fun this year and actually kind of get back to having fun, which is something they really haven't done in recent years. It just always seems like there's doom and gloom going on with the Cornhuskers. I think that could change this upcoming season. I see them probably going 7-5, and five, which might not seem like much, but Scott Frost hasn't gotten them over five wins during his time there. 7-5 and five would be a huge improvement. It would also shake some things up in the Big Ten standings. I also think if you look at their schedule, you could probably argue that this could be a 9-3 and three team. I think you could argue that just based on who they play, where they play them, and just the fact that Nebraska lost so many close games. They're not that far away. They're really, really not. Moving on to my pretender. And I think you probably know who this is based on who I didn't say was a contender. And, I, you know, I don't feel great about this, but I think Penn State is a pretender this year. 
And for a number of reasons, first of all, I don't trust Sean Clifford. I think he's just a game manager. And I'm not sure this team is good enough to just have a game manager at quarterback and then find themselves with 10 or 11 wins this year. I just don't see it. I also think the schedule is tough. I mean, this is a hard, hard schedule. At Purdue to start the year, they go to Auburn, to Michigan. They have to play Ohio State and Michigan State. That's daunting. I mean, that is an absolutely daunting test. I think that they're going to have some issues in multiple of these games. I think Purdue could beat them week one. I don't think they're going to be very happy about going to Auburn and facing that defensive line either. I think that could be an absolute problem. Um, And I think they're playing second fiddle to Michigan and Ohio State. I think they're losing both of those games. So when I sit back and look, I think a lot of people are talking about Penn State as a 10-2 and team, a 9-3 and team. I don't see either of those outcomes. I think they're going to go eight and four this year. um, And there's a possibility that they could even go seven and five this upcoming season, which is, in my opinion, a down year and makes them a pretender in the Big Ten. So now let's make the prediction on who's going to get out of these. So Ohio State's winning the East. They're going 11 and one. Michigan is also going 11 and one. But Ohio State's going to beat Michigan. And so Ohio State's going to get into the Big Ten Championship game, and they're going to take on Wisconsin. Wisconsin squeaks by Iowa and Purdue with a 9-3 and record. Um, They get into the Big Ten Championship game, and then they go ahead and get smashed by Ohio State. Ohio State is going to win the Big Ten. They're going to be 12-1, and which is going to get them in the college football playoff. Yet again, they're finally back after missing last year. And I think Ohio State is very, very good. C.J. Stroud, great quarterback. Jackson, Smith, and Jigba, awesome wide receiver. I just think there's a lot of talent on this team. And don't sleep on Jim Knowles as the defense coordinator. I think he is going to take that defense to a whole nother level. I think he's phenomenal. And I think Ohio State fans are really going to love him this upcoming season as they make it to another college football playoff. So that's it for the Big Ten. Exciting times, I think, in the conference. Should be a very fun year. Very focused on the Big Ten West this season. That's going to be very, very fun and just a complete toss-up. So that's it for the Big Ten. We will talk more about season predictions as we get a little bit further along. The season's right around the corner. These conferences are going to shake up uh, even more so over the next coming weeks. Very excited to take you through all of them. But thanks for joining today. This has been Grayson Greenhaver.